Welcome to this tutorial which will teach you about sight factors of a place. We will learn about why towns and cities began in their specific locations. So what exactly makes a good sight factor for a settlement? Well, firstly you need a good availability of water, as indicated by the river here. You need to be safe from flooding, so further up from the flood floodplain would be a better location. You need a good defensive site, so site A here, which is high up, will have good visibility from, from the enemy. You also need to have good relief for farming, and relief is best when it's flat or undulating rather than on steep slopes. You also need to have good access for trade, and sometimes you need a bridging point, and this would be somewhere within the river, where you can easily make a bridge across from one bank to the other for trade and communications. And finally, though it's not relevant these days, a good site would be near to wood. Historically, people needed timber for homes and fires and uh, for industry. So now let's take a look at the town of Windsor to identify what its site factors were. Well, the fact that we can see a castle here at 45 metres above sea level indicates that this was an excellent defensive site. Secondly, we can see the River Thames flowing from west to east. That would have provided a good regular water supply. There is a bridge here built from the south bank to the north bank, indicating this was probably the narrowest point of the river uh, for the bridging point. Fourthly, in terms of farming, we've got lots of flat land here. And finally, we can see evidence of um, deciduous woodland, which originally would have been very important for timber, for industry, housing and shipbuilding. And finally, let's take a look at why a town did not develop on the vast majority of this site here. Yes, there is a small fishing village here. Um, but most of the map indicates lots of surface streams, drainage channels and rivers indicating very poor drainage and that would mean it would be very difficult to farm extensively here. Also that would make it very difficult for woodland to develop which as we know is important for timber. Yes, the land is very flat which can be good in some instances but as a defensive site it wouldn't work very well. So hopefully you've learned from this tutorial the site factors and also how to interpret them from Ordnance Survey maps.